We are starting the day a bit slow today, but we're at around 5.50 and just got back from the gym. Now I'm on my way to my condo and I'll be in the pool, bro. <laughs> Did you like the transition, bro? Nice. Cool as fuck, man. Bro, that's another thing about Bangkok. Or like Thailand in general. All of these condos, they all have pool, gym, the gym's there, sauna there, pool here, bro. It's amazing, man. Catching. Now we're in the sauna, get three sessions done, then we go into the pool. We get more work done. We meet Malik, we have some food. Cup, cup, ha, ooh. And I'll show you some kachings. Bro, I missed so many kachings today, man. While we're here in the sauna, we have a little bit of time to talk. Let me tell you, bro, one really, really good nugget about e-commerce is that, think about it this way. You have to sell products that can be used basically every day, that people are already using every day, in the best case. And for me, my reminder is always, try to not sell cool stuff. You know, the stuff you think like, oh man, this, oh, this is dope, this is dope, this is gonna sell. Because you're not the customer. Usually the very boring, the very normal, all day use kind of products. You know, think about kitchen supply. That's always my example. Kitchen supplies or bathroom supply, and hobbies, you know, those kind of things work. Those products work. And also one thing that you have to remember is there's no such thing as a saturated market really, you know. Like you can just get in there, you know, and just get your piece of it. So get your piece of the pie. Yeah, bro. Let's let's chuck it one more time and then. I was just about to order some food, bro, and we got another sale in. Under twenty-four fifty. Ching. Thank you, cup. Do you like it, bro? Malik just told me how much he loved Thailand, you know, and. He just arrived basically, uh, like how, how long ago? Like two weeks. Two weeks, you know. Yeah. And before that, we were talking a lot about Thailand, you know, and I was here already and I told him, bro, it's so good, blah, blah, blah. But now he actually experienced it. So, what do you think, bro? Bro, it's just amazing. Everything is amazing. But what I tried to explain, like, if someone would want to leave, but yes. he's not sure, why if Thailand? You, if you, ah, it's Thailand, the people are very nice. You can have a good life. For What's the top three top things three? in Thailand? So number one, here are very nice people. Yeah. Number two, it's not cheap, but it's not that expensive. So it's yeah. way cheaper than in Europe, for example. Yeah. Point three is the life quality here. Yeah. So where we stay right now is, bro, for me it's on top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I have everything yeah. what I need just around me. Yeah. You know, and yeah. still a nice apartment, and I don't have to pay like ten thousand euros a month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. You know what time it is? If these glasses on, I was just sitting here doing, getting some work done, and we got another order of hundred twenty-four fifty car. Ching! Stop it! Get some help. Oh, it's a bit overkill, but you know. I've been just editing the new vlog and we got another money making mic. Bro, today it's pretty fucking good, man. Another kaching. Bro, Bangkok today is pretty fucking. Wait for it. Here it comes. Almost there. Bro, air pollution, you know what I mean? What the fuck, man? We're gonna survive, bro. Don't you worry, bro. We're gonna survive. Let's go. Bro, I'm driving to the city now to check out some uh, spots. I'm gonna meet Malik in the city. We are on the motorbike taxi now. In Bangkok, bro. Dangerous. It's in Pattaya, it's easy, bro. I told you, if you watched the last video, you know, easy, cruising. But Bangkok, bro? Bro, there's no space. It's 
normal. This is nothing. This is like safe right now. You see me working all day, not all day, but I'm always doing something for my business to get better for myself, for my health, everything, right? So now I'm going out, right? I'm enjoying as well. Like I'm going, I'm meeting Malik live and you know, we're doing here and there a little bit. Maybe I'll show you, maybe not, maybe later, maybe never, I don't know, you know? But fact is that we also have fun. We have a balance, you know? And right now you see all over the internet, like go crazy, hustle more. Bro, hustle of course, man. But like, if that's your vibe, if you want to hustle, if you want to go crazy, do it. But there are many ways to succeed, you know? There's not just one way, bro. And you will see that here live on my channel. I'm just getting started. Kaboom! Where is he? There he is. What's up, Malik? What's up, bro? Told you, bro. We also enjoying, but you know, it's a balance. A real man is born to serve. Period. And we can't lose that. Masculinity to protect and to serve and to help. But if we spend all of our time isolated in our gym and isolated in, in our booth at our laptop trying to make money and isolated in, in you know, our study reading um, the Art of War of Marcus Aurelius and, and reading all this stuff and we're by ourselves all the time improving ourselves then our our improvements has an we can get to the best we can get we want it with a net zero 